Hi guys, as promised in the previous episode, I've just taken one of the ESCs out of my boat and the receiver out one of the other boats so we can rig this up and just see if it runs. I think I probably need a bigger ESC but this should be enough just to test it and make sure it works. Now I'll plug the bits together. I do get questions on how to plug the bits together and there really isn't much to it. The plugs will only go in certain places. But if you really want to know, I suggest you have a look at a channel like Flight Test. They're a proper radio control channel and they do it all the time so they know what they're talking about. This is my ESC, Electronic Speed Controller. It's got three plugs on it. They're all different, and it's also got an on-off switch. This one will only go into the receiver. It won't go into the motor, and it won't go into the battery. It's the wrong shape. This one will only plug into the battery. It can't plug into the motor. This one will only plug into the motor. It can't plug into the battery. If you wanted to be silly, you could plug the battery straight into the motor and the motor will run full speed. You've got no speed control over it then. This plug goes into the receiver and it also supplies the battery power needed to run the receiver. There's circuitry on the ESC that converts whatever your battery power is to the right power for the receiver. So this ESC has a BEC included in it, BEC battery eliminator circuit, ESC electronic speed control. Now on my receiver, channel 4, sorry, channel 3 is the right one for the throttle. Channel 4 is actually the, um, pull it over, on mine, it's actually the rudder. So, ailerons 1, elevator 2, throttle 3, rudder 4. Let's go in that way. On this transmitter, yours may be different. So, we're plugged into number 3. And if I plug the battery in, and I can only put it in one place, and it'll only go one way up so that red goes to red and black goes to black, if I switch that on and switch the receiver on, you'll see the receiver is now powered. I think you can see the light on there. So we'll switch that off again. Right at the front, you may remember that's where we got the servo for the steering. Well, in this case, even though mine says healer on an elevator, we want this to go in position number one at the very bottom. Oh, that's a good point. You've got to get it the right way up. If you look carefully, it does actually tell you over here, the far right is the negative, or battery, the middle is the positive or battery, and the left hand side is the signal wire, which in this case is the white one. On this one, brown is negative, red is positive, and the orange is the signal wire. So that has to go the right way around. I won't plug the motor in just yet, but I'll switch it on. So we've got steering and it's the right way round. On my transmitter, if it was the wrong way round, you can just switch these around so it reverses it. Now I'll plug the motor in, making sure that I've got the throttle in the middle position. That's full throttle, that's reverse, and that's the middle. So in this case, the middle position should be zero power. 
on an aeroplane, the middle position will be half power already. But cars are different, assuming you've got forwards and backwards. See, not only going one way round. So, if I lift the back up, now this one's got a brake on it, so you can't go straight to reverse from forwards. You have to stop in the middle. and then go into reverse. Okay, so that's it up together in a temporary format. But that should be enough for us to be able to run it up and down on the floor here and check it all works. I've put the top back on so at least we get the feeling of it working. But I don't want to spend too long doing this because, as I say, that ESC is not really powerful enough for that motor. So we've got forwards. Got reverse. Steering. I'm doing it very, very gently. do. It's just been a bit silly there but I don't think the ESC liked it very much. It seems to have shut down now. Still got steering but I've got no no forwards backwards. So that'll be the end of the story tonight until we get a proper ESC. Yeah I just reached inside and turned the ESC off and on again and we're happy again. But if I try and give it full power, yeah, it's switched off again. So that's it. Proper ESC next time. <laughs>